kids. Nice to see all of you here today. We're going to talk today about how God has made you special. God made me special. He made you special. And there are people who are in the church who have special jobs that help the church to live right and do the right things. And they teach people. They have special jobs. God has made them special just like he's made you special today. So we're going to do a little illustration about how special people in the church, like you and me, can work together to build the church and support the church. So we're going to use this nail to do that. I'm going to put that nail right there and pound it in. Don't use your hand like that because that will hurt your hand. Now, if we work together, we can, we can accomplish things. But if, if we're trying to do it all on our own, like let's say this nail is going to try to do it all on its own, going to try to balance on this nail by itself. Hmm, let's see if we can do that. It didn't work too well. Let's try that one. No. That one? You see, if you try to do it on your own, it doesn't work. So that didn't work. You can't work by yourself. You can't do everything by yourself. You have to have the church and people in the church supporting you, and the church will grow, working together. So I'm going to move this out of the way, and I'm going to take this nail right here, and let's say this nail is, let's, let's call this nail Jesus, okay? So we're going to lay that right down there. That's Jesus, okay? Here's another nail. We're going to call this one Pastor. So we're going to put Pastor right there, okay? Let's see, we're going to call this one maybe an associate pastor, okay? So we'll do an associate pastor. We'll put him right there. Let's see, a special person in the church is a teacher, okay? So we'll put the teacher in there, okay? These are all people that have special abilities that God has made them special to do, and they're helping the church, and they're working together at church. Let's call this one a board member, okay? Somebody who is on the board and makes decisions. Okay, how about a... How about the treasure? Treasure of our church. That's an important position. So we'll put that in there. Um, nursery worker. How about somebody who works in the nursery, works with the babies? Okay, put that one there. Let's see. How about somebody who works outside, like maybe somebody who mows the lawn? Okay, that's another person that works in the church. Let's see. What a missions president? How about a missions president? Somebody who works with missions and brings missionaries to the church. Okay. And let's see, here's a, another one. This is, uh, let's call this janitor, somebody who helps keep the church clean. That would be important, okay? So all of these people that we have here, they are helping the church, working together to accomplish the goals of the church. Okay, and then I have this one last nail. We're going to call this one the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit that that guides us and helps us and, and talks to us. And yeah, so we're gonna put that one there. Okay, and now I'm gonna put this back up here. We're gonna see if we have a church that is balanced. Church. That so let's see if we have a balanced church, a church that's working together. Let's see. Gotta be able to pick them up first. 
Yeah, okay, there they are. There's the pastor, the janitor, the nursery worker, the teacher, everybody that's working in the church. And they're working their special thing that God has given them. And they're working together and they have a balanced ministry in their church. Isn't that cool, kids? What do you think? So I hope you learned something today about how God made you special. He has given you a special thing that you can do in the church to help the church and help the church be a balanced church. Thank you for listening. This is really cool. I wonder how Pastor James did that. Hmm, let's look at this. Look at it a little closer. Hmm. Changed, I'm forgiven and new If people need proof, may they